Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome to Lawn Mowing Simulator Demo. This game just released the demo for Lawn Mowing Simulator. Uh, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. And if there's any sim game you'd like me to try out, please let me know down in the comments below. Also, like and subscribe to this channel because uh, it really helps me out. Now, this game basically, it doesn't... You see, there's a lot of sim games that perhaps... On, when the first time you hear about it, it doesn't sound very fun, but honestly, from what I've heard about this game, this is my first impressions, first time playing, but what I've heard this is actually really good fun. Um, so we need to create a new career. This has a proper career, it's sort of like um, you know, Euro Truck is, you can build up a company with people going out to contract, you know, work on lawns, big country houses, it's set in the UK. Uh, we're going to play with tutorials, because it's my first time playing, and here we go, we get to create a guy. So the company name is going to be um, Simul... Simu uh, I don't know. Lawn Mowers Are Us. Oh. Um, I don't know. Lawn Cutters. Why not? Okay. Uh, company logo. So we've got lots of different logos. That's not. What is that? I don't know what that is. That one's fine. And edit player. We can we can can change the physical appearance. We can change a hat. Oh my goodness. Let's have a red hat. No, let's not. Let's have a white hat. Oh, I don't like any of these colours actually. There you go. Logo placement. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so we've got three thousand pounds. Right. Okay. Accept. Now we can test drive these. See that one's got a higher top speed. Let's go for that one. Uh, I guess we have to test drive then. Right, let's test drive it. Oh my goodness. So yeah, basically, this is set in the UK and you've got to cut loads of lawns in the UK, I guess. Um, right, so here we go. Oh, wow. This is fully, like, first person. What's that mouse doing there? Go away. I'm using my Xbox 3, no, Xbox One controller. Uh, right, get on. Once you're on a vehicle, you will need to get it started and onto the grass. Each vehicle is slightly different to get going. Follow the steps at the bottom of the screen. Um, hold X to start the vehicle's engine. There you go. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Right, change the cutting height. We'll do it at 5. And then X to engage. Once on the grass, you now need to get your deck ready by first setting the cut height and then engaging the cutting blades. You should only ever turn on the blades when on grass, otherwise you'll damage them and affect their ability to cut. Okay. When on contracts, you'll be required to cut the grass to a certain height. Each contract will have its own height the grass needs to be cut to. Set your cut height within the range of 5 and 6. Okay. While cutting, you can track your progress at the, at the top right. Yep, fine. Oh my goodness, it doesn't have a very uh, wide cutting range, does it? Oh no, I'm doing so bad. Can we, uh, look at this view? Is there a first person? Warning, you're cutting at the wrong height. Whoops. Uh, why? Why? Here we go. Oh, wow. It's got a first person mode. Always love to see games that have that. Um, oh, we're going a bit fast. Right, let's. Um, how do I decrease the throttle again? Oh, I've just turned the engine off. Whoops. Okay, the throttle only has one RPM setting them. Let's go round the tree. See if we can do all that. Not engaged? Oh no, there you go. Let's cut around the tree, come on. Oh yes. Right, let's go down to this one. We've done 3%. Ooh. Right, not bad. 
We're only going to do 10% though, so that's not bad. Um, there's a couple of Porsche... Is it McCann or Cayenne? In the uh, parking lot there. I mean, I'm doing a terrible job here. I'm just going all over the place. But eventually... I think if I kept doing this for long enough, I'd be able to um, get it correct. Let's do it just around the outside here. So the graphics are pretty good. For a simulator game like this, you know, not bad. The sound of the lawnmower, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite good. I it's supposed to be louder, but it's, uh, you know, it's not, it's not that bad. We, we've obviously got to look after our machines. If we don't cut... Um, if we, you know, start engaging the cutters when we're over that tarmac, it'll be damaged. We've got fuel there on the on the right. Oh wow! And also, we've got to manage our um, the amount of grass which is in the hopper. And it's like uh, I don't know what, 25% so far. Overloading. Slow down. Great work. In a real contract, you'll be expected to cut all the grass. When a contract has been completed, you can drive your vehicle back, to oh yeah, back onto the trailer. Okay, so here we go. Let's get over to that trailer. Oh yeah, what a bad boy this thing is. Oh yeah! Oh, we can hang on. Reverse it towards there to empty the bag. Here we go. Oh. Oh, nice. And let's put it up here. Boom. Okay, so we're going to purchase this vehicle now. And we'll only have 851 left. Okay. This is the contract map. Uh, where you can see available contracts to select and start. Now your company is set up, and you have m and you have a, mo a mower. Select the contract button at the. B I thought it said and you have money, but no. Select the contract button at the bottom of the map to open it for setup. Right. Okay. So we select this one. Front garden, old nook cottage. Let's assign an employee. Well, I'm going to assign myself, and we're going to assign that. So we're going to do 99% cut, 5 to 6 centimetres, ground check time limit, rec recommended cut time is 26 minutes, wow. Uh, we're going to get £330 for doing this, let's get 50 RP. I think we're ready. What is that down the bottom right? That's like a cutting implement, isn't it? Well, here we are. Old Nook cut, uh, Cottage, the front garden. Okay. So, you're going to skip a ground check. Remaining items will be manually removed. Okay, so we've got to do a ground check. Oh! That's not good, it's like a brick. So, we've actually got to check stuff on the ground. There's a ball, so we don't get stuff in the mower. I wonder what would happen if you ran over these. And that's it over there. Just a stick. And look at this, it's, it's, you know, it's quite nice. So it's set in the UK, which for me is great. I live in the UK, so it's um, pretty cool to see a game. Whoa, look at this car. What kind of a car is that? It's like a, I don't know, an old Volvo or a Triumph or something? Um, okay. With the ground check complete, it's time to cut, uh, cut some grass. Here we go. Start that engine. And there we go. Cut tight, we're going to go at uh, five. So we've got to do pretty much all of it. So we better get started. Your performance during cutting will affect how much money and RP you gain. Okay. You need to find a balance between speed and careful driving. Okay, we can't damage flowers, so... What we're going to do, we're going to go around the outside. Now, the only other game I've ever cut grass in, I think, was one of the old 
farming simulator, it's like 2013, had a... Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, we can just go straight for it. Had like a cutting, grass cutting mode. I don't really know if there is a technique for this. But if I was doing it, I'd do this. I'd go around the outside and then work my way in. It's got a good turning circle. We've got to go in here. So there you go. We're up to nearly 10%. Good turning circle. Now the performance, I'm getting 52 FPS, so it's not perfect, and I've just... Did I really just do that? We're alright, we're alright, we didn't hit any flowers. I'm getting 50, 52 FPS, which doesn't... Which isn't great. I mean, I am at the top graphics level in 1080... No, 1440p, sorry. Um... So it's, it'd be quite cool to see, like, you know, there is no open world. I think it would be cool if you could, like, drive between all of the different um, places. Like, you have to drive the, tr the trailer with the lawnmower around. That'd be cool. Um, the other thing is that, you know, I don't... This is only the demo. This area here seems quite small. The part before we had seemed quite small. Um... I'd hope that there were like really big sort of like country houses, maybe some like sports pitches, that'd be cool. You could like get contracted to do some sports pitches. I just don't know yet. Um, but you know, there are real world um, manufacturers of lawnmower, um, you know, makers in this game. I think this is a, what is this, a, a, a Steger? And Toro and Skag, I think are the other ones. Um, so that's pretty cool that they've got that kind of endorsement and the, the realism of a real brand. Um, and yeah, I think the idea that you can have like employees going off to do the work for you, an actual tangible way of increasing the size of your company for employees, that I think is what makes Euro truck so fun is the fact you can build up a company. It's not just about trucking around. And the main pull for this game for me is that it's quite relaxing. It's quite therapeutic as well. The, the idea that you can just, you know, go around, make sure everything is perfectly cut. It's quite a nice thing to do. Quite a chilled out game. And when people say like, oh, you know, why is this interesting? Well, they probably haven't played it. You've always got to try something like this before you, you know, if you don't like it. I mean, this is a free demo. It's why they make demos for this kind of game, because without a demo, people, a lot of people would think, this is not for me, um, and just never give it a second look. But yeah, we're coming up to the flower bed here, so I don't want to hit these flowers. There you go. We're nearly 50% done. The lawn's looking good, but I have kind of missed a few spots, like there. Um, the graphics, I mean the graphics I'm impressed with. This is, uh, I live sort of near the countryside in the UK. Don't live in the countryside myself, but um, I don't exactly live in a, a very urbanised area. Um, and this really is so reminiscent of lots of different places um, near me and that I've been to. So yeah, they've done a great job at capturing the kind of UK spirit and the the way these little villages with the thatched roofs are. And you know, we don't all live in thatched roof places, but you do see them on like a day-to-day -day basis when you drive around, which is great, you know. Right, we're gonna go around there. So I'm wondering if we can like go to like London and do sort of uh, a big park, like a, you know, for the local council or something. That'd be really cool. And then, like, the mowers towards the end of the game, like, do they have... I don't know, do they have, um... Big, like, you know those massive, like, roadside mowers you see? 
maybe we'll be able to do that. Cut like motorway verges and stuff. So we've been going for five minutes. I don't think I hit those flowers, nice. I'm, I'm hitting them, but I'm not actually cutting them, which is good. We've basically got to get 95% here, so... Yeah. In reverse. Now I think we'll be able to do this without having to re... or like dump all of our... cuttings. Which will be good. Tight corner, tight corner. Whoa, nice. I'm gonna go around. Let's finish this bit off. So maybe before we leave today, I will have a quick look in the main menu, see what the demo kind of can show us about uh, what there is to offer later on in the game. So this isn't fully representative of what the game will be, obviously, it is just a demo. But um, there's no better way, for me at least, to see if I'm interested in playing this. This, I mean, this game really reminds me of some of the classic sim games. You know, there was an era of sim games like sort of 10 years ago, or t t 10 to 15 years ago, which wasn't good at all. There are a lot of terrible sim games. But every now and then, you know, aside from all the rubbishy games like, you know, um, Garbage Truck Simulator and mountain ropeway sim and you know these stupid sort of like mining sim games um, there were a few games like Demolition Company Gold um, Farming Simulator came out uh, you know Euro Truck and all of these games that perhaps you know on paper sounded quite boring um, but were really really good and this feels like one of those old classic sim games you know it, a lot of sim games now are moving towards like sort of a story based kind of thing like with that um, checkpoint game I did you see a lot of games out there with like prologue demos where it's just kind of attached to a story you're basically simulating scripted events but this is a proper sim it's realistic sort of no it is pretty realistic actually it's realistic, it's, it does do like a normal everyday kind of task with a vehicle. This is, this is just a stellar, absolutely epitome, epitome of simulation games. And I'm really glad to see this kind of game making a resurgence. So don't let anyone put you off this kind of sim game. If you like these kind of sim games, I think it's just a matter of taste. Other people don't like it, well that's their problem. And you know, the reason I made this channel was that there are lots of sim games out there that just don't have the coverage. Not in a serious way anyway, there's not many people that cover these games seriously. Um, but the response to this game, a lot of people have been obviously still critical of it, but you know, I've seen a lot of people really just loving the idea. It's a relaxing, fun, realistic game. Right, we're nearly there now. I've got to sort out all of these scraggly bits. You d Oh no, I damaged the ground. Fine incurred. I don't know what I did there. Did I do too sharp a turn or something? I'm paying the price now. All of these tiny little bits that I failed to do. Look at this round here. Come on, 92.7, we can do it. I've actually used quite a bit of fuel. 
I wonder what the fuel consumption of these things actually is. You know what, I think it might be more than 95, I think it's like 98. Look at this, come on. There's a big clump. As you go around, you kind of miss bits and you, you, you think you've done a bit, but no, you haven't. This edge, come on. Get all of this. Ninety-five point two. Oh my goodness, we're so close. You damaged. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm, it's because I'm going too fast and turning too fast. That's why. You gotta, you gotta make sure you slow down. Right, there's a few bits here. That we can definitely do. Come on. Oh no, I'm just, I'm just doing it again. got to make sure you slow right down when you go around a corner, come on. Make the same mistake three times in a row, come on. I'm useless. Hopefully when you play this game you can, be, you can do a bit better than me. Because I've really... Just kind of uh, not really thought out how wide this is. If I was using the third person camera I would have seen that I was missing bits. Um, but I didn't. Because I, I, I just prefer, I don't know about you, I prefer first person. There's 97, I think it might be 97.5. Right, let's look for any more bits. Here you go. Ninety-seven point one. Oh my goodness. Two, three. Four. Not this here. Five. Ninety-eight, maybe? Wow, this, this lawn's looking pretty good. I mean, there are... Oh. There are a few problems, actually. I have messed it up a bit. Um. Bit here. 97.8. Oh my goodness. Right over here. Nine. Oh my, come on, this bit must do it. What? I've got to cut everything. Honest oh, cars, there's actually cars driving past. I thought I could hear something. Right, let's do it properly now. This bit, there you go. There's a thick bit of grass here that we haven't cut. And in here. Totally missed this bit. Mm. 
Right, any last bits? Yes, around here. And here. Oh my goodness. Can we finish? Resume. How much does it need doing? Okay, so one criticism I've got right now is it forces you to do like 90 what? 99% of the lawn? That's too much. I'd say 95 would probably do. Although I did miss this, so let's see how much this is going to get us up to. Mostly done, I think. There we go. There's a bit here. Bit there. Oh my. Come on, there must be a bit more somewhere. There's one bit. With the cutting complete, you need to drive to the back of the trailer to leave the location. Well, we're not going to clean up any left leftover bits. So okay. Disengage the cutters. Boom. And off we go. So, what do I think then? Pretty good. It does force you to do quite a lot of the lawn. Which probably isn't brilliant. Um, what we can do, though, is empty. Reverse the vehicle towards the grass bag. There you go. Boom. And up we go. Old Nook Cottage. Confirm. Oh, it's a beautiful place. So, we got uh, £6.49 for the ground check. Uh, £20 for the, uh, that earning on that. Okay, so penalties and fines. £2.50. £2.00 for collisions and 50p for ground damage. So that's pretty good. This is our garage. We can fix damaged vehicles, view statistics, purchase attachments, and purchase new vehicles. Alright, right, okay. Uh, we do not want to exit, no. So, the next place um, looks like it's Kingsbury Gardens. Um, and yeah, there's a date at the top right. We've got a new rank. That's pretty cool. So, there's only one open to us at the moment, but this one looks a bit bigger. It's actually more complex. And the target is 99.5%. So, yeah, that was Lawn Mowing Simulator Demo. I'll leave a link to the demo down in the description below. Please let me know if you enjoyed that and if you want to see more when this game comes out. But also, let me know if um, if you'd like to see any different games in this channel. So this is a big garden, actually. Look at this. It's huge. This is much bigger. I'd say this is probably 25% bigger. Um, I love the detail. Can I just say before we finish, I love the detail. They make you pick up little bits of um, uh, like things that could damage the rotor in the garden. Where's this last thing? That is a great detail. Where is it? Around here? There it is. It's a little branch or a... Oh, some shears actually. Uh, are they bloody? Uh-oh. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content from my channel and check out these videos to see more simulation gaming on Simulator Adventures.